Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to more Zero Hour. Welcome back to another pro 1v1 match. Today we're on a map called Farmlands of the Fallen, and we have two superb players for you. In the south position, we have the purple player, the GLA Vanilla. This is Excal. All the way up in the north, facing him today, we have the red player with a super weapon general, going for two supplies here. This is Boyka. Now, we've got some good news. Obviously, the, the Boyka conspiracy was going on that we were only commentating on Boyka losses because somehow I am psychic and I know all the games Boyka is going to lose in, in advance without watching the replays. Um, but the, the, the thing is, now we have two people believe in the conspiracy because, uh, we, one, we've got Boyka and now we've got another guy that commented on, on the previous video that said he, he too believes in the conspiracy, even though... After the conspiracy started, we actually found a boy could win somewhere against Stats. Uh, the game against Stats, he did win, but 90% <laughs> of the other games, he has been losing. But my advice stands, if you just win more often, we are more likely to find a good game that you win. <laughs> it's not rocket science, is it? We've got a TNT being prepared by x -Gal. Three terrorists, two RPGs is the choice. He's gone for quite an eco-heavy um, build with three supplies. His only aggressive tunnel has been shut down. Has got a worker inside of that building though. And Boyka behind this has gone for two EMPs, which Xgal is going to run into, unfortunately for him. And the EMPs are covering the extremes of the map. Does not cover that area though. That might come back to bite him later on. But the TNT actually hits the EMP. But Boyka will get some ranges. You know, it's not actually a bad idea to go there, put one by there, and also go in there. It's not so bad actually. For Boyker, it will still cover that area, but obviously having an EMP there does cover a massive range um, and stop any enemy technicals coming in. I reckon x would have reinforced that. So maybe put two RPGs inside of there. He wants to try and get some forward tunnel. He's actually building a supply down in the bottom right ahead of um, having a tunnel there. x has five workers on all of his supplies, which I absolutely love. I hate seeing uh, GLA players just on two or three workers. Or even four workers, like, later on into the game. But this is actually quite a decent-ish start for Boyka. But you've got to remember, x has on a bit on three supplies longer. Ooh, what's going to happen here? Is that a TNT inside of there? Yeah, it is a TNT. Could have sworn x could have evac there and he might have killed one or two Vs. But the EMP line is getting up and Boyka has expanded to a third supply there as well. The benefit of the USA is you can collect from the different supply crates. I suppose just like the workers can as well, but I don't know if it benefits USA slightly more. But x now building a ton of tunnels here in the middle. And Boyka has found this supply and going to be able to shut that down. That's really, really nice for him there. Uh, that's unfortunate though, because his EMP... Oh, it, it survives actually. The two terrorists are right there. I mean, a Dozer and a V went down, but I think Boyka won't be too fussed about that because he has now got this line of EMPs. Uh, there was a tip by Mad Rage a few years ago to say, before you ever build a supply, always build some kind of defense there as well. A bit before, as a general rule. I think Axe Guy got maybe a bit overconfident that Boyka would not go down there. If it was a tunnel there first, secure that, you secure the area and prevent the enemy from taking it, and then you can build your supply later on. Otherwise, now that supply is not paid off for itself. And he's also not sold it, giving Boyka the XP that he so, uh, so desperately wants. He'll want to get himself to level 3. Was that the same technical from there, I wonder? Here comes another TNT now from Excal. V does get picked off there, as well as the pilot. But the TNT does hit the CMP. EMP that's, that are built there basically have no chance. Excal has just been continually hitting it. Excal build an additional... Supply there in the middle. No palace on the way yet. It's a bit of a funky and different game than a standard super weapon against GLA. I'm kind of liking uh, Boyka's position and chances so far. Two technicals in the base of him though. Uh, and he's running away with his dozer. Did he really need to cancel that strat? He's just lost several percent on that. I don't know if he was close to 50. I can't remember exactly what percent he was on. Did he really need to cancel that? He could have just moved it away. If there was a TNT, you would cancel it then once x -Gals revealed what was inside of that technical. Surprise, no palace going up yet. x does have enough cash for it. 
several technicals after this dozer. It's probably RPGs in there, isn't it? Oh, if it's TNT, though. Oh, Voika. Oh, Voika. Oh, man. The conspiracy is going to live on, isn't it? Why would you not have just moved that just in case? I don't understand. If x has got a technical in your base and you're on your last dozer, chances are he's going for it. Why not just pick it up and play it safe? Yeah. But Boyka will be a little bit mad now. He will load up all of his Vs and try and go across the map and try and win. But x now just needs to bunker off. Because the, the benefit of having workers and the enemy having no dozers is you can build whatever you want. And the super weapon now cannot build anything. Any buildings he loses now or anything that gets TNT, if his power goes down, he's not going to be able to do anything. But he does have uh, EMPs here that block things off. But like I said, I said that's going to come back to bite you later on, and it is. It's making Boyke have to go back and chase it. I just would like that just to have been a few centimeters over to the right. And it would have been just fine. There's no ambulance in this army, so any damage he takes, he's not going to be able to repair these Vs. Because he's got the scout drones and he's also got the uh, Hellfire drones. Does Eggscal have enough technicals to deal with this? Because he's quite fully loaded Vs and he has the tow missile upgrade. So far, micro pretty decent by Boyka. And I'm not convinced that was the best engagement in the world there by Eggscal. He's lost a lot of technicals, but he does have another line of like... Um, maybe not a line of tunnels, actually. Only one tunnel, few technicals out, few terrorists on the way. Excal seems a little bit slow here. Technicals now coming in from the side. That's a good angle to come in from when the Vs are in single file going the other way. A Boyka really does need to reinforce this, but he's actually attacking in the middle. Still nice micro though, continued by Boyka, but he is losing Vs slowly. How long will he be able to keep up that attack? Does have a Vet 3V. He needs to park himself in front of these now. As soon as these buggies and the Jarman come out, there's going to be very big problems for Boyke. He needs to close down that barracks, stop, stop a Jarman coming out. I mean, Excal will probably migrate his base and build it somewhere else, but you at least want to close this area down. If, if Excal gets on like four buggies and a Jarman, it's going to become much more difficult for Boyke to do anything. I don't know why he hasn't reinforced it around. I, I would have been waypointing the second big V army around. And yeah, x -Gal looked vulnerable here, honestly. Boyka's coming around the other way. I just don't, don't know what these are doing, honestly. The time they were needed was like literally 60 seconds ago, maybe... Maybe 90 seconds ago. Because as soon as, yeah, I'll say it again, as soon as these buggies are out, these Vs are going to get chipped away all day long. And I actually wouldn't mind a Boyka win here. So we can put this conspiracy to bed. <laughs> oh, but I can see the way this is going. Just look at the amount of buggies out. And he, he could have saved his dozer. I swear he could have saved his dozer. He could have reinforced and closed that area completely out. I think this game was winnable here by Boyka, given that start that he had. But will he be able to close it out now? We're approaching 10 minutes. Boyka's not floating, so he is spending all of his cash. He's going to go and collect down in the bottom right, which is a good idea when you've cleared that area. But x is very familiar with this situation. Those aren't in the enemy and then just camping it out, especially when you've got the army advantage with buggies against these. The, the Vs have absolutely no chance. Uh, Colonel Burton could be used, but he doesn't have the strap. And now x might even go on the attack. He might be able to take out that EMP. At least that ambulance here could go down. Might even go down to the bunker. Uh, Boyka coming in brute force just to engage this. Uh, he's going to lose... Well, he's only lost like one V so far. Kills a buggy, actually. Maybe not the worst engagement in the world. x is actually losing ground there. Maybe not the worst. Did lose three Vs to gain this area. This is pretty weak. 
Got Pathfinders in here now. It's taking out all the workers. Buggy's coming in from the side. Another V goes down. He does have the buggy ammo upgrade and the AP rockets. So these Vs do go down very, very quick. I'm surprised there's not been more TNTs from Excal, you know. I just think Excal looks a tad slower than normal. Normally, he'd be multitasking two or three attacks at the same time. Right now, he's just focused on these buggies. Yeah, I'm surprised the TNT hasn't gone around the back. Usually, when you're not looking, your power gets hit. But still, even though Boyku's gaining ground, the Vs are still thinning out. He is reinforcing, but how long can he keep up that uh, keep up that trade-off? He's killing tunnels and supplies in return for losing all of his Vs. But the buggies are really getting up in their numbers. Got markets in the base. So even if Exile loses all ground, he can probably still hold just with the buggies alone. But Boyker is getting an enormous amount of these, actually. Over on the left side now, he's combined, like, two armies of them. One of the oils here is going to get hit. And Boyker's doing exceptionally well. Remember, he's super weapon. Normally, super weapon just gets overrun by GLA a lot of the time. Maybe it depends on the map a lot. But he is still here. Yeah, this is a bit of bad engagement now for Boyker. He's taking loads of hits here from the buggies. And this building is pretty fully loaded. He's lost a lot of these there. What, like, five... John McKell gets sniped out of Pathfinders. It's a pretty nice little victory because now these MDs will be able to come in and chase away those uh, those buggies. There's still no TNTs around the side. Boyka's got that. Boyka's got that. So he's got the economy rolling. So I suppose he can afford losing these. But Excal is gaining more and more XP. He's getting the bounty money from all of these kills. Another market being built on the base. Would be nice to capture that, I think, and that that would provide this position a lot more cover than it actually does at the moment. Hmm. So Buki continues to group his Vs. Dunno, man. Does Excal just have too much? He's building his CC. He's got a Jarm and he's still got like at least five buggies. He's building more markets. I'd like him to use that Rebel to capture that and that. I just think, uh, I swear, Boyka would have probably, if he'd have kept up the same strategy, he might have already won if he'd have, if he'd have kept that dozer. But of course, he would have played differently, I suppose. Probably would not be headbutting these positions as often. That is a very fully loaded um, bunker, but he hasn't loaded a Pathfinder, and that position will be hard to collect from anytime soon. Buggies might be able to take out the Pathfinder if they all bunch up too close. Hey, don't know if Excal saw the Pathfinder or not. I don't think he was watching. Next wave of Vs is coming. It's flashbang Rangers. We could collect him from the extremes of the map, but there is a quad cannon taking out these uh, Chinooks collecting. Okay, Boyka now come in single file. Boyka tried to suicide a V there with a flashbang ranger, but has not been able to, and that is a fully loaded bunker right behind this position. It's such a solid position to break. Yeah, Boyka needs flashbangs. Uh, there's Jom and Kel inside of here, though, so flashbangs on the ground are not going to work, but flashbangs inside the Vs might work, but you're going to lose probably at least half of them Vs if you, if you try that. Just think Excal's getting too many markets now, isn't he? Uh, three, four, five markets. Yeah. Excal now harassing these corner positions. Boyka's losing the middle battle here as well. He's actually getting pushed back himself here now, one of his EMPs. But he's not going to be able to rebuild. He's getting taken out. Uh, Boyka's going to try some massive drop. Hmm, has Excal seen that? Don't know if he's seen it or not. He does have a tunnel full of quads, I think, so this could be disastrous, actually. Pretty sure that's at least like five or six quads in there, and he could have AP ammo as well. Chinook's coming in. Oh, he's flown over a tunnel. How many quads? There is a lot of quads, and he does have AP ammo and junk repair. This is the most insane drop. 
He has made it across, though. He's lost one Chinook. Ooh, is he going to lose another one? He actually makes it into the back. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> He's made it. He has made it. Shame for Boyka, though. He's almost level 5. He could have a... Uh, it does feel like a very big desperation move here, doesn't it? He could have uh, support powers very soon. The level 5 support powers. But I'm pretty sure Exile is going to be able to clear this up. Yeah, a very big desperation move there by Boyka. I think Excal's pop of quads maybe even could have been a little bit faster. He might have been able to make that a bit more painful for Boyka. But ultimately, what's Boyka killed really? Maybe one War Factory, one Barracks was sold. Sorry, one Black Market or something like that. Yeah, I think Excal has too much control now. And he's also just uh, being fed XP from these... Infantry suicides there in the middle. Big pop here from Excal. There's a lot of vetted and scrapped up quads. All of the bees straight into the meat grinder. And everything gets wrecked. He's going to run over to Pathfinder probably as well. And that is it. Boyker has been defeated. You know what? Boyker actually did really well there with the super weapon general. Um, I think if he'd have built that EMP on the south right position a little bit better and stopped all them technicals coming in that would have been a major advantage for him i think if he'd have picked up his dozer when he knew it, the x guy was on the dozer hunt uh, on the prowl for the dozer if he would picked it up and saved it he probably would have won just based on that but i mean if he pick, fixed that emp and picked up his dozer then um, i would bet boyka would win that like big time he did it he did exceptionally well with no dozer and a badly placed emp Anything else Boyka did that game that he could have improved? I might have mentioned it throughout, but I think if you fix like them two things, uh, yeah, I didn't really like that suicide drop over the top. Maybe if you could bring every single V, but he only brought like 70% of the army or something like that. I also think actually a major point was reinforcing that attack that he did when he closed down Excal's two arms dealers or the potential he could have had because Excal had basically next to nothing. If Boyka had waypointed his next army around and reinforced that point, and stop the buggies coming out, stop the shaman coming out, and made Excal migrate his base. He could have won based on that as well. If you fix them three things, we well, could definitely could have won that. So uh, it's not like he's not doing good. He is doing good, but he's making, in my opinion, too many mistakes against top players like Excal. I don't think you can do that. But if you fix them things, then I'm sure he's got the potential, just like he did in 2020 uh, World Series Finals, where he, what was the score? Seven four or something like that. It might have been. But yeah, you let me know what you think. GG, well played, and I will see you in the next one.